A's hosting the Guardians. The Guardians are minus 112 on the money line. The A's are minus 104. The over under eight runs. The Guardians laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 180, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the A's getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. They've played each other three times this season. Cleveland won all three games. 8-0, 6-4, and 12-3, and it's not like anyone's in the stands anyway because they're boycotting it because they're moving the team. The damage is done. It's not going to do any difference, and all the people who are there who are boycotting are going to be even more annoyed that they're wasting the chance that they have to go and see the team. But it is what it is. The owners are greedy. Carrasco pitched once against the A's last year as a member of the Mets. Five innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game 3-2 to two in New York, and he struck out three. And Blackburn pitched once against... Oh, forgive me. That was in Oakland. And Blackburn pitched once against the Guardians. Five innings, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 7-6 to six in Cleveland, and he struck out seven. Head-to-head, -head, Cleveland's on a seven-game winning streak. They're 9-1 and one in their last 10 against the A's. The road team's on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorite has won the last seven games they played against each other. The favorite is 9-1 and one on the money line. The favorite winning by multiple runs, laying a run and a half is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-run games in their last 10. Overs hit in their last three, which is every game this season. The over is 7-2-1, and one, and the over 8 is 6-3-1. And, and the wind is supposed to be blowing out at 6 miles an hour. The question is not only how bad is Oakland going to be this year, but it's when are they going to win their first game, and I don't think it's happening tomorrow. Cleveland with the money line, Cleveland laying the runs in the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.